Hi, my name is Kurt Kempton, and today I'd like to show you a brand new feature inside of Responsibid called two-way texting or two-way SMS. Um, so basically, there's a couple things that I'm going to show you that are new, and that is is that you have in the customer profile below the notes a new send text message area, and you also have a message feed. And the message feed will look like this as long as there's no uh, messages in it, of course. But um, the phone number that's auto-populated will be uh, phone one, if you only have one phone in there. And if you have the other one, you can also select from that number to send messages to. Of course, you can only send one number at a time, though. Now, by default, we don't select your own texting number, but you would acquire that. I'll show you in a second where you acquire that in the follow-up area. But in order to make sure that you're not accidentally sending text messages, we do not pre-populate the customer profile in a way that if you were to hit the text message number, that it would actually go. Like, it won't work until you've selected your texting number. And then, of course, you type a message in and hit an MMS. If you have that, I'll explain that in a second as well. Let me take you over real quick into the follow-up builder. This is where you would actually go in and um, get your company SMS number. I already have mine here, but you'd be able to click add if you haven't gotten one. We'll go ahead and buy that for you as part of the follow-up process. You just put in your area code and you can name the number, whatever you'd like. We call it responsive texting. And you will also have a new area even if you already were using forwarding the text messages, there's no need to forward text messages anymore. So now we have a way to forward incoming calls to this number. So if your text messaging number, um, if you want people who call that number to go to a voice line, you can just simply type in what voice line you want it to be forwarded to. That could be your office landline. It could be a, a cell phone number, whatever you want it to be. Um, just know that once you put that in there, you will start having numbers calling that number who will want to talk business. So consider that as you're putting the number in there and then make sure you hit submit in order to save it. So once you've done that, you'll be able to have a, a voice call forwarding number and you'll have a number that is owned by Responsibit on your behalf and only your company will be able to use it with your own specific um, area code. Uh, once you've got that set up, the only other thing you want to know is that in your company profile, if you want to take advantage of sending and receiving uh, messages that use uh, uh, images, MMS as it's called, then you would need to turn on the advanced image feature. It's already turned on here, so there's no button, but if you haven't turned it on yet, there will be a button that says add it. It's $9 a month, and it actually, we use it currently for allowing you to unload as many high resolution pictures to proposals as you want. But with that feature now will come the ability to send MMS messages. So I'm going to actually go back to my dashboard and I'm going to go into this Mike Callahan account. And I want to give you an example of how you can use this. So I'm going to send this to this phone number and I'm going to send it from this texting number. I'm going to say, uh, can you believe these guys? I want to... I want to send a picture for some weird reason. I'm going to send a picture off my desktop. This is actually from ResponseCon. It's kind of a fun picture of Bobby and uh, Sid. I'm going to go ahead and send that. So I just sent a text message and an MMS. I attached a, an MMS to it. It takes a moment because it's got to go up to our servers. we got to get it compatible, ready to go for the text messaging. And we'll actually go ahead and end up saving it here for you to be able to use later. You can even attach it to proposals if you want. But you can see that I just sent a text message that says, can you believe these guys? And it's got um, their information, and or their, that picture. And you can also see the information down below here. It'll say where it came from, when it when it went, and uh, who it, you know which number you used to go from. And if there's two numbers, you'll be able to see which number it went to. So in that situation, you would actually be able to, um, let me see here. Oh, looks like we got, uh, Another text that came in. I just got a notification email. Let me refresh this page. A couple things you can see is that number number one, you can see that the message that just came in was from above. Hello, all those guys. Can you believe these guys? That's your message. That's theirs. Also, you can see that you could rename this picture. You can call it Sid and Bobby. This is actually, if you've already had this feature, this is nothing new. But um, go ahead and type that in there. And you can see that it came from the person. You'd be able to reorder it. But you could actually even look at that picture raw if you wanted to. And you could decide if you want to actually show it or hide it um, in the proposal itself. So um, in the proposal, actually, sorry, I want to go to the last recalculation. In the proposal, you can see that there's a Sid and Bobby because that's what I named it. And you can see that that image is actually now included in the, 
in the proposal as an option. So that's more, more about how the uh, advanced image feature works. It'll also be able to show in the uh, PDF proposal. But that's pretty cool because you can text message back and forth now instead of having to get your number out there. So that's how the whole entire thing works. We hope you love it. It's a pretty cool feature and um, one that we think that you'll be able to use um, quite extensively. So enjoy. Happy responsive bidding.